Joining us now is Dan Rosenzweig. He's the CEO of Chegg, a company that just last night I saw a report on TechCrunch raised $75 million yes. from a foreign investment firm. So congratulations on that first. Thank and you. Um, you just had a panel with one of our editors, Eric Schoenfeld. You know, talked a little bit about uh, your, your recent round. I would, I would love to know, you know, kind of how this funding round came together, why you decided to partner up with ACE as, you know, as part of your investor mix. Yeah, look, it's, uh, it was a very fortunate situation, which is I uh, came to the company about seven months ago, and the company had had terrific growth and was still growing. And one of the realities is it's a capital-intensive business in that in order for us to bring textbooks in print form to the students and to have such low prices, we have to buy them and then take possession of them and then ship them out to the student. And so we've used our capital, or are using our capital, to buy more textbooks. It basically fuels our growth. So the more money we raise, it's a result of the greater success we're having. And is there any reason in particular why ACE is in the mix? Well, I think they are a high quality investor. Uh, they're very interested in the education market. They have a long-term outlook uh, and, um, and they were very easy to work with. So we, we felt if we're, gonna, if we're gonna raise this much money from somebody, then we wanna have a partner that we really value in the relationship. Chegg is no stranger when it comes to big funding rounds. You have raised now in the triple digits and the millions for, for Chegg. So how does that, you know, when you're talking about your capital needs here and how you think about that, what are you trying to plan for? How do you um, anticipate the needs that you'll have? Because like you said, it's a very capital intensive business. So the difference between this and a lot of the uh, tech companies in the Valley are a lot of, these, a lot of the capital investment goes into yeah. servers and technology and software that may or may not pay off. In our case, our capital really is focused on acquiring the book okay. so that we can rent it to the student. And for us, you, you, you uh, discuss something that's one of the key variables for us, which is how do we measure demand? Yeah. So we've written some very sophisticated algorithms mm -hmm. that help us measure the demand of a book. And then when a book will start to lose demand, so we know when to liquidate that book, how many copies of that book to buy. So there's a lot of, a lot of engineering and technology and math that goes into making sure the business model can work mm -hmm. and that we're able to bring the right value to the right students. And, and that's the exciting part of the business is figuring that out. The demand is absolutely there. And how would you characterize your competition today? You know, now it's, it's kind of more of a diversified field. You're not just competing against the colleges you know, who are offering it at their rates, but you're also competing against emerging startups. Like recently this morning, we had No who presented their tablet, which is you know, offering textbooks via digitally. Um, so how do you characterize the competitive environment today? And how do you try to strategize to, to you know, eventually uh, come out on top? Well, we look at it in stages. So uh, companies like No, which we think are a really interesting and, and fun idea and actually is um, uh, founded by one of the co-founders at Chegg, um, we see that the tablet market is at its nascent stage and will develop and will start to move people more and more to digital over the next three, four, five, six, seven years. And we think that that's a great idea because our goal is to save people uh, time, save them money, and help them get smarter, get the grades that they want at school. So that's the, that's the next phase of where textbooks are going to go. Today, really our competition is from the used market more than the new market, which is 40%, 30 or 40% of the books that students already buy, and there's 200 million books that trade hands each year, are from the used market. And so we're offering even a better alternative to that market. Um, and, uh, and we're helping students get access to, to books or content that they might not otherwise have bought at all. So 19% of our uh, of our students said that they would not have had availability to this content or to this book had they not done business with Chegg. And so that's very exciting to us. The key to winning in all this is staying relevant, um, continuing to innovate and invest in the company, continue to offer more and more content and services to the student that add value to them. And so we initially were just renting required books. Now we're renting books and also we're selling some books. And then on top of that, we are, um, we are now offering non-required content in both print and digital form, workbooks, books, and eBooks, and, um, and skills and drills content. So we keep adding more value for the student.
A large slice of your pie then is the used book market. Um, are you concerned about how that pie is going to be shrinking as books become more digital? What is your expectation for the used book market over, say, the next five years? At what point do you think, or is there going to be a point where we're, we're going to be 80% digital as opposed to you know, the, the, the real tangible book? I, I imagine there's got to be a point where that happens. I mean, we're, we're a management team. Uh, that has had uh, a lot of history in Silicon Valley, whether it be at Netflix or eBay or Expedia or Microsoft, um, Yahoo in my case. And so we, I think we appreciate the inevitable is going to happen. It's difficult to pick the day and the timing of it, and I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon because there's a lot of infrastructure, business model, and technology that needs to happen. But assuming it's going to happen, our role is to really to create value for the students regardless of the format of the content. So today, we're creating great value by saving the monies, giving them incredible convenience, access to the book in a day, two days, three days, four days, whatever, whatever shipping that they choose. But through the acquisition of course rank, we're now beginning to bring other services that add incredible value to the student, like being able to rate your professor, read ratings, see who else has taken the class, who else of your friends has taken the class now, understand how to calculate the least expensive way to graduate with your major, see the kind of material that those in your class are using that are not required. So we're all about creating value for the student, and we think digital is actually going to help advance our position. So do you see that in five years out, perhaps Chag is going to be a very different company than it is today? Well, I think we're going to be the same company in our values mm -hmm. and, and in our proposition, which is to save time, save money, and get you smarter. I think the kinds of offerings will be significantly different. No different, by the way, than when eBay started with Beanie Babies or Amazon started with books and CDs. So we see an opportunity to be the position for helping students in higher education get smarter, get what they need, and, and make them save money. Now, my final question is, what's your timeline looking like for a potential IPO? Well, I, I think, like all companies who will answer that question, um, we don't have a date. That's not really an end. Mm -hmm. um, for us, it's about building a great company, a 100-year company, something that my daughters, 17 and 15, will know when they go to college and be proud of and create real value and help Americans save money. Uh, American families are struggling right now, so if we just execute on what we're doing, the way we create value or raise capital in the future will reveal itself, but it, it's, that's not the priority. The priority is having Chegg be really valuable to students and their families. Great.